Meet Mike and his son Jimmy. Mike knows that the sun is shining and the fish are biting. What better way to take advantage of this opportunity than taking his son Jimmy and his boat out on the open water? The excitement is too much to bear. Mike tells Jimmy to hurry up because time's a wasting. But Jimmy isn't so sure they should be rushing and says, Hey Dad, don't we have a plan? Mike is momentarily confused but quickly remembers that Jimmy is right. Mike and Jimmy decide to check the latest weather forecast just to be sure that beautiful sunshine doesn't turn to dark clouds, rain, and wind while they're out on the boat. That could spell real trouble and no sense risking a rescue from the Coast Guard. Once they're certain the weather won't be an issue, they must tell Mike's wife Nancy where they're going to fish and how long they plan on being gone. This is a float plan, and little Jimmy was taught to always tell someone where he will be on the water, just in case something happens. No need to make mom worry. Now, Mike and Jimmy can take the short car trip down to the marina and get the boat ready. Before starting the boat, Mike and Jimmy ensure that both of their life jackets are on the boat. Jimmy has to wear his life jacket because he's a child. Mike puts his on just to set a good example. Next, Jimmy asks his dad if he can go through the rest of their equipment checklist. Before they go, they make sure they have flares, fire extinguisher, a throwable life preserver that resembles a seat cushion or a life ring, a sound producing device like a whistle or horn, and plenty of food and water and some sunscreen. Mike starts the boat and ensures there's plenty of fuel and that his marine radio is working properly, just in case he has to make an emergency radio call. Charged cell phones are great, but there is no substitute for a radio, so take both. Plus, the radio can be used to call other vessels, which is always helpful. Mike also checks the navigation lights are in working order, just in case he's still on the water close to sunset, and he also makes sure his GPS is operating properly. Before throwing the lines off the pier, Jimmy remembers his dad telling him how important an anchor is. So Jimmy walks to the bow and ensures it's there, just as a precautionary measure. Ah, they're finally ready to head out on the open water. By taking just 20 extra minutes, they both feel much safer about this trip. Thanks for teaching Jimmy about boating safety, Mike. And thanks, Jimmy, for reminding your dad to have a plan. Now it's time to go catch those fish. Go get them, guys. Good luck, and be safe.